Aloha mai kako. Happy September. I can't believe that it's already September. Uh, August just whizzed by and we're back with another month of hula for you. My name is Kumu Kanoi and this is Eans Kalania Kea, my son and best helper. And this is Halau Napua Hala Kunoi Ke Kai. This is our home. We're coming to you live from Nuuanu Valley on the island of Oahu, right here in Hawaii. And this is a live, uh, a live broadcast. So if you're joining us live, please be sure to let us know in the comments where you're joining us from. We're so glad that you're part of our Hula Ohana. Um, we're going to be celebrating a birthday this month, and we're also going to be celebrating a festival that we love here in Hawaii. So lots of celebrations, lots of reasons to be excited. Of course, all of it through chants, prayers, and hula. And um, yeah, so if this is your first time, welcome to our hula classes. This is our Saturday hula class where we cover a little bit of everything. Um, and yeah, I think that it is time. Aloha my welcome back. Every Saturday we start our classes pretty much the same way. Of course, we like to honor our um, our Hawaii by singing Hawaii Pono'i. Now, uh, Hawaii Pono'i was actually our national anthem back when Hawaii was an independent nation, and uh, the monarch at the time was King David. Kalakaua, who wrote the lyrics to this mele, Hawaii Pono'i. He actually liked to do that. He would write just the lyrics and then he would collaborate with other people to get the melody. So he reached out to Captain Henry Berger, the Prussian bandmaster, and asked, do you have any melodies that you could lend to me for our anthem? And um, Captain Henry Berger came up with one of the songs that he had written. He had called it Him to Kamehameha Ekahi, to the first Kamehameha. And it was an instrumental piece written for the band. He gave that melody to King David, and they came up with Hawaii Pono'i, which is our anthem, our state anthem now that we are a state of the United States. So make sure that you kuiluna, always stand proudly. And we have our Hai Hawaii, which is our Hawaiian flag. Oops, sorry. I got it kind of. There it is. There's our high. <laughs> so we're going to stand and sing Hawaii Pono'i. Uh, generally, you only hear one verse performed and sung um, out in public, but there are three verses. So we will stand and sing all three verses of Hawaii Pono'i. Pa. Hawaii Pono'i Nanai Komo'i Kalani Mark. 
Mahalo. Very nice job. I'm so glad that we can sing that together. You want to put our flag away? I like when you put it up there or you can put it wherever. Just put it down someplace. Okay. The next thing that we do is our aloha to one another. Of course, we would like to know who is joining us live today. And if you're not joining us live, go ahead and leave us a comment anyways. We'd still like to know where you're joining from. So let's see. We have... Claire Marie Peterson, and she's joining us from Long Beach, California. Aloha, a Claire. Angelica is joining us from Kelemania, Germany. Nora Ramos joining us from Mexico. We have Manahula Circle, Norie and the gang joining us all the way from Japan. Patricia is joining us from Massachusetts. That's not how you say it, but you know, Boston. Uh, Boston I don't know we were watching a thing all of our accents where I'm working on my bad Boston accent okay uh, Yvonne is joining us from Florida hope you're doing well there Linda joining from Pennsylvania it's so good to see you Linda um, let's see we also have Misuk on from Incheon Korea Aloha e Misuk on uh, Beverly joining from uh, Kelowna right BC no yeah, from yeah, British Columbia, right? Am I wrong? Yes, British Columbia. We have Se Ilya from North Carolina, I believe. Leslie also from Florida. It's so good to have all of you joining us. We really have multiple countries, states, and municipalities uh, here today. And so we want to wish you our aloha in the form of a chant, which is called the Oli Aloha. Oli Aloha was written by um, Auntie Pilahi Paki, and she was kind of famous because she went before the legislature, les Hawaii legislature, and they were trying to come up with what does aloha mean as far as a law. They wanted to write a law of aloha. And Pilahi Paki stood up and gave testimony about what aloha meant to her, and they loved what she said so much that they said, Auntie Pilahi, can we just write that down and we'll put that right into the law. So Pilahi Paki said pretty much the lyrics to this chant, which spells out aloha. If you look at the first letter of each line, it says A-L-O-H-A. -O -O. Oh, that's a different song. Okay, so here we go. Oli aloha. Make sure that you send aloha through your camera, through your um, computer. Don't worry, I'm not watching you through the camera, but send it over the internet to everyone in our global hula ohana Oli aloha, pa. Akahai na Hawaii, lo kahi akuli ke, olu olu kamana o, ha a ha a kokula na, ahonu yala na kila, aloha. Nice job. I want to send a special aloha to someone who's watching live, which I think is so funny. My mom, actually, this is their home. My mom is watching the, the live. She's on the other side of the glass here on the patio, but she's watching it on her iPad. She could just turn around and watch, but she's watching it on the iPad instead. So thank you for being one of our live viewers on Facebook, mom. <laughs> Okay, um, at this time, we are going to noho ilalo, have a seat, and we're going to jump into our prayers. So we always start with our Hawaiian doxology. Come close to me. I just want to cuddle with you. Okay, so our Hawaiian doxology is, um, you know, known. It is an English prayer, praise God from whom all blessings flow, which was translated into Hawaiian by Hiram Bingham, who was one of the um, missionary um, who came to Hawaii. And he translated this first verse, which kind of follows that same pattern of the English version. Later on, Kumu Haunani Bernardino, um, the late Kumu Haunani Bernardino, added a second verse because she said it was too short to begin with. And she wanted to add a little bit more of a Hawaiian 
world view of what we are most thankful and grateful for. So that's the second verse of this. So these are actually two separate compositions to the same tune. Okay, so here we go. Hawaiian doxology, ho'onani, pop. Ho'onani kamakuha that so that was our ho'onani or hawaiian doxology the second prayer that we do is actually a little simpler it's called ekeakua and it's done in the kahoa hoa style hoa of course means friend and so in the kahoa hoa style one person starts and then the other person copies or follows after yeah in the call and response style so here we go ekeakua pa Eke akua, eke akua, mahalo no, mahalo no, mahalo ya oi, mahalo ya oi, no ke ya la, no ke ya la, amen me, amen me, amen me, amen me, mahalo. And that's a great prayer just to bless any day because it says, Dear Lord, thank you, thank you for this day. And we are so thankful for today because it's a beautiful one again. I know you get sick of me saying that, right? But it really is a beautiful day again. Um, we do have a little bit more cloud cover. So we have been practicing how to talk about the weather. That the question is, Pehea Kiani La. Pehea kiani la. Pehea means how is. Ke means the. And anila means weather. So pehea kiani la means how's the weather. And the answer, if it's daytime, would be he la weather ke ia. And if it's nighttime, I was going to say night time, but if it's, if it's nighttime, it's he po blank ke ia. So let's practice. Let's ho oma. Okay. Um, e ins pehea kiani la. He la o malu malu ke ia. Ay, polo le. He la o malu malu ke ia. It's kind of a cloudy day for us here in Nu'uanu Valley, but still lovely. It's a little bit cooler, and hopefully we'll get a little bit of rain. That's our favorite, right? Here in Nu'uanu, we get rain quite often, so it better be our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> So we would love to know, Pehea Kiani La, how is the weather in Germany, in Mexico, in Japan, in Massachusetts, in Florida, all over the world? We want to know. Um, we did have some friends, you know, over in Louisiana that normally tune in, and I know they had a little trouble this past week. So we want to spend a special aloha out to them. Hope that their weather is turning up a little bit better and that everything is going okay for them. So aloha no to you out there in Louisiana. Okay. We will continue on. Our next chant helps us to rise up the sun. And we would generally do it at sunrise, but we missed it by a couple of hours. So we'll do it now. E ala e, we're going to take our hands in the upoho or the cupped shape. So you're going to get a pattern of two upoho. And then a pa'i is going to be a fat, fat, <laughs> flat hand. Let's not talk about fat. Okay, so here's the pattern. Upoho, upoho, pa'i, join in. E ala e, here we go. E ala e, 
kala ika hikina ika moana kamo ana ho ho nu pi ika leva kaleva nu u ika hikina aya kala e ala e and stop right there good let's do a little bit of describing of what this song means so e ala e put your hands by your mouth we're just going to describe it e ala e means wake up yeah, you're yeah. telling your mom or your kid, e ala e, wake up. Then, kala is the sun. Ikahikina is in the east. That's where it's rising. Yeah? Ikamoana, it looks to us on the islands here that it's coming out of the ocean. Kamoana ho ho nu, the deep dark ocean. Pi kaleva, it's climbing up. Kalevanu to the highest heavens, Ikahikina in the east, Ayakala there is the sun, and then we tell the sun to wake up, E ala e. That's it. Okay, so now let's try. We're gonna do the chant for the third time now with just hand motions, no clapping. Okay, so we're starting starting simple since we have some new friends. Ready? And here we go. E ala e, kala i ka hiki na, i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nu u, i ka hiki na, ai a kala. E ala e. Very good. Now that's not really a hula if someone is asking that sure doesn't look like a hula um but sometimes we like to describe the chants through hand motions just so that we can connect with the translation or the meaning a little bit better so thanks for bearing with us for that all right at this time let's do a whole mai a whole mai is a song um or a chant rather that helps us to focus our energies on learning the meaning of the songs just like i said we like to learn the translations so a whole mai written by edith did I get that right? Oh. <laughs> so written by Edith Kanaka Ole, Eho Mai helps us, it says, grant us the knowledge from above concerning the hidden wisdom of songs. Grant, grant, grant us these things. Okay? Eho Mai Pa. E ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na me le e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na me le Was that three times? Yeah. Sometimes I lose track. I just get into this trance. Oh, okay, so that was a whole my We usually do it three times through, so hopefully we did three. All right, at this time, we're going to move on to work with our ipu. So if you have an ipu heke ole, that's the headless ipu, or an ipu heke, the one with the head on top, you can go and grab that. Now, if you don't have an ipu, that's okay. You can just use your hands, or you can use a bottle, or you can just watch if you want. Sit back, relax, have some coffee. <laughs> But we're going to practice our ipu. This first song that we do is actually not using the ipu in its totality, um, but it's talking about making the ipu. This song was taught to me when I attended the Ho'oma Ka'i Ka'i exploration program in 1999. Uh, and so, uh, <laughs> so this song talks about how we make the implement of the ipu. Okay, so here we go. Hanawa wika ipu heke ole pa. Hana ga ika ipu heke ole ika ipu 
heke ole, hanna vau ika iku heke ole, ika papa hanna no e au hanna ho, hanna vau ika ipu heke ole, ika ipu heke ole, hanna vau ika ipu heke ole, ika papa hanna no e au. Now, if you're wondering what Oh, what the heck were they doing? First of all, you have to chop off the top. And then you have to scoop up the goods. And then you have to sand it nice and smooth. And then this one, we dip it in the ocean. Because the ocean water is salty. And if the um, flesh of the ipu takes in some of that salt, it's less likely to get eaten by bugs. Yes. And then we made another one. So after that. Okay, let's practice our beat. Just kidding, different beats, okay. <laughs> okay, so the first beat that we're gonna practice is actually not a beat at all, it's an ornamentation, and it's called the Kaeke Loloi. You're going to just rattle your hand side to side, kind of like a little seesaw. Make sure that you're not brushing your fingernails, you're not going like this, or your ring, or whatever. It's just going back and forth from pinky to thumb. Sometimes the ring finger might get involved. It's not so much like this, but more back and forth. That's the kaeke loloe. The next step is called the pa. And when you see u and te on the slide there, u is going to be hit down gently on your pale or something to protect your ipu on the ground. So u and a te is a side. Uh oh, this live video has ended. Are we still going? Oh, okay. I hope we're still going. Okay. Ready? Let's do the pa beat. Ready? U, te, ready, go. Te, 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 and stop right there. Very good. Okay. The next beat that we have is called ka hello. U, te, te. Okay, let's give that a try. Ready, go. Very good. The last beat that we're going to do is called the ka eke loloi. No, kuku. Sorry. <laughs> kuku. I just had a brain thing. Okay, kuku. The kuku beat is going to be three beats on the ground. U, 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 te, te. Ready, set, here we go. U, 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 te, te. U, 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 te, te. U, 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 te, te. And ku. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to do some combinations okay so here is a combination for you i want pa kahela pa kahela simple to start with okay too easy no okay just start simple ready set here we go very good okay so now let's change it up let's try kahela 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 Ready, set, here we go. Kahela, 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 and a pa. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to make a hard one. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so here we go. We're going to make a sandwich. So it's going to go pa, kahela, kahela, pa. Got that? And we're going to do the same sandwich again. Pa, kahela, kahela, pa. Okay. Then we're going to go straight down the list. Pa, kahela, kuku. And then we're going to come back. Kuku, kahela, pa. Okay, so we have a pa, kahela sandwich, a pa, kahela sandwich, down the list, and up back again. Ready? Good luck. You know what I mean by sandwich? Pa's on the outside, kahela's on the inside. Okay. Ready, set, here we go. Pa, kahela, kahela, and a pa. One more time. Pa, kahela, kahela. Here we go. Pa. Kahala kuku. Beep beep. Ku. Ka and kahala and a pa. Whew, I almost didn't make it. Whew. Let's put our ipu away, away, away. Put the ipu away. Okay. Are we still going? We are. Not really sure why my thing looks like it ended. Okay. So. 
today is September what? 4th, right? Okay, so September 4th is today's date. But this past week, we had a very special birthday. Eames turned 21. Just kidding. No. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he didn't. Okay. Uh, it was actually our Queen Lili Uokalani's birthday. If she were alive today, this way, so you don't get smashed by her picture. If she had lived till today, she would be 183 years and two days old today. But we celebrate her birthday because of all of the contributions that she did for our Hawaiian people. Um, we're actually wearing these outfits in honor of Lili U as well. One of her favorite colors was pony purple. And so that's why we have a lot of purple in our show today. I have my purple lay on and there's purple here. And Eames wants you to know <laughs> that there is actually a little tiny portrait of Lili U on our fabric. One of them is kind of awkwardly placed. Um, so I'm going to show you one on my knee <laughs> here. Okay. Here we go. Can we go to the Vavai cam? Okay. Check her out. There's Lili U on my knee. Yes. And uh, uh, of course, we also see the high, the flag, the Hawaiian flag. And there she is. Beautiful Lili U. Nini U on my knee. Uh, you see underneath that there's also some crown flower lei down below. That was her favorite lei. And of course, purple was her favorite color. Okay, so let's come back awkward okay so <laughs> this uh this fabric i know it does look like the um matson yeah a little bit like those matson menus this fabric was actually uh designed by iolani fashions and before they closed um about a year um before they closed they did a collaboration with iolani palace where the proceeds of this um these fashions went to iolani palace to help support them so we're so thankful to Iolani uh, Fashions and Iolani Palace and, of course, to Lili U. Um, we wear her in honor of her birthday. Yes, exactly. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Lili U as a young girl. So here's Lili U. Look, I put her right in the rocking chair. She's <laughs> sitting right on the rocking chair. Um, this is a picture of Lili U when she was young, one of the youngest pictures that we have of her that I've been able to find. And, you know, she was born uh, with many different names, L Lydia, Liliu, Lolohu, Valania, Kamakaeha. She had all these kinds of names. Um, and, and she was uh, schooled or she went to school at the Chief's Children's School, which is now known as Royal School. And while she was there, part of her studies included, of course, of course, math, of course, of course math, science, all of these things. But piano was one of the things that she studied and she also studied singing and she was a beautiful composer and wrote over 150 songs and chants i'll tell you a little bit more about her throughout the month because we want to continue celebrating her and there's so much to tell you about lili U. but we wanted to honor one of the most well-known chants for lili U. we're actually not going to learn the chant Sorry, I just don't really teach the Olapa, Hula Olapa here on Facebook. But we will sort of reference the Hula Olapa version of Lili U. Um, and we are going to do the mele of Lili Ue. That's it. Oh, that's not it. Oh, oh, sorry. Are we missing a Lili U? That says Milo Lili. Let's take that away. Is that away? Okay. Lili Ue. This Milo Lili we did last, last time. There's Lili Ue. Aha, okay. So Lili Ue, that's Lili Ue. And so um, same words that we use for the chant, we're going to use in a more modern song. Now, I do want to honor that this text was written by hula master Anton Ko'o. And I have a picture of him that was published in the newspaper. Mr. Anton Ko'o, there he is. Check that shirt. Wouldn't you love to have that shirt? Okay. So he's actually dressed that way because not only was he a master chanter, a kumu hula, um, he was also an award-winning runner. So there are all of these newspaper accounts about how fast he was and how great stamina. And, you know, it's like a whole article of turn-by-turn -turn 
um, uh, commentary of this race that he ran against a, another guy and he ended up winning. Anyways, he was a very talented gentleman. Um, most accounts say that he was Hawaiian Portuguese. Thank you very much. We're also Portuguese. Um, but Anton Kao'o was known to the Hawaiian people as Akoni, Anton Akoni. Um, and he was said to have written this chant, Lili Ue no Honani Mai. Now, the interesting thing, and don't show the picture that I put in for Kina U, just FYI, don't show that one. Okay, it was said that Anton Kao'o had his troop and they came before Lili U and they said, Oh, we need you to have. Uh, uh, we need you to have a dance for Lili U. Um, and he didn't have a dance ready because it was too short notice. So he took another chant, which was actually written for Kina U, um, and he just changed out the words. So the words to this song um, in another version say, Kina U e no ho nani mai, koki no e ki imili mili. The whole song written for Kina U, a totally different person. In fact, it was a little boy, a baby boy. Um, so Kina U was the one who this was written for. Now, Uncle Kimo Alama Kiaulana, one of my kumu said, he even knows a version of this that was for Kamehameha e noho nani mai, or something similar like that. So this was a practice that was not considered copyright infringement. This was a practice that was common. You have a song for an ali'i, and you just kind of change out the name, and then boom, it's for a new ali'i. And Anton Kao'o, he did get some criticism. People said, how dare you just steal this chant? But one of his mentors told him, never mind. Just keep using this chant until people forget that it was even for Kina'u, and they just think it was for Lili'u. And that has totally happened, because when people hear Lili'u, nobody is thinking about Kina'u or Kamehameha. They just think it is a song written precisely for our queen, Lili U. So anyways, long story to tell you, you don't have to be original. Just find something good and, you know, make it your own. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into this a little bit. Now, Ims has learned um, the chant of Lili Uwe, and we're not going to be teaching the chant here, as I mentioned, because um, it is a hula olapa passed down through generations, and it is something that is meant to be taught face to face. So I am by no means teaching you the chant of Lili Uwe, but we are going to do a little bit of the hula that's based on it. Okay, so I will reference it. If you want to learn Lili Uwe, then find yourself a kumu hula that will teach it to you face to face, and then maybe it's me, but not on Facebook. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start off with the, the hands to the chant so that you can see where the rest of it comes from. So Lili Uwe, you're going to put your hands out to a half a T to the right. Yep. So you're going to, oh, let me move back so you can see my hands fully, fully, and my pants. Okay. You're going to put your hands out to the side. It says Lili Uwe, oh Lili U, you sit so gently. You're going to tuck that right hand right to the side of your um, what is it called? Chin. No ho nanima. You're sitting so gently. So you go to the side. Lili ue, no ho nanimai. Now in the chant version, kokino, we touch our shoulders and then we touch our hips because kokino means your body. So you're showing off that body. All right. We're going to change that motion in the awana version to make it a little bit more modern looking. So instead of just doing the body that follows my black palule, T, my, my, shirt here instead of doing that we're going to do a full body motion that's it very good and ki'i mili mili for ki'i mili mili in the chant normally we go one two three four yeah you're here kind of waving and waving i'm going to bring my hands a little bit closer so that you can see your right hand starts on the top and you're just going to wave one time and then wave again the meaning of this says your body is so supple and soft. Remember, in Hawaiian culture, it was good to have a little extra cushion because that meant you had lots to eat, you were not starving, you were not working out in the fields, you were living, what is it, high on the hog or whatever. <laughs> I, <laughs> that was freaky. Okay, ki'i mili mili, 
you're so soft and supple. Okay, so that's in the chant, and we're going to do something sim similar. Okay, so we're going to start with the hands out to the right, half a T to the right. Okay, and then you're going to go to the other side. Yeah, so you see that's a change from the chant. So it goes right and left. Then noho nani mai, you're going to come instead of here where the chant was, you're going to cross it over the other side. This is more modern kind of sitting motion. Noho nani mai, and then other side. Yeah. So we're kind of doubling it up. Right, left, right, left. Ready? Other side. Now right hand to the chin. Noho nani mai. Switch other side. Kokino. Now your body is so soft and supple all the way up. Tilt the chins up. Kokino e. Then instead of kii mili mili, just going one, two. Yeah? Kii mili mili li So you're going to just do it fast. One and two. And then you go right into e of lili ue. No na ni mai. And then switch. That's it, okay? So it's similar, and it's sort of quoted from the chant, but it's a little bit extended, shall we say. Okay, very good. So now let's add a little bit of feet work. For your lili ue, I'm going to lift up my pants because these are not really made for hula. We're going to call holo to the right and left. That's going to be four steps right and left. Lili ue. I feel really crowded today. No nani. Okay, now the step that we do for lili ue is mostly uehe. So I want to break down the uehe step and we're going to do what I call a slow uehe. Slow so it's kind of like a slow burn okay so you're gonna for the uehe we're going to lift the right foot actually let's go to the va vai cam so i can really show off my feet and how long my pants are okay so here we go we're gonna step with the right foot and then we're gonna pop those knees yes and then left foot and left yeah Eames just remembered remember we did on last month we did Milolii, the elephant, but we're not going to go too wide. We're just going to stay in, in place. We're going to step, uwehe, and then other side, step, uwehe. So it's actually going to go that slow. Let's go from the kaholo. Elili, uwehe, two, three, tap. No, no, ni, moi. Uwehe, left. Kokino. It's slow, yeah? It is slow. Okay, let's come back to the regular camera. Okay, so let's go with a kaholo to the right. Elili u e and left. No ho na ni mai uehe and left. Kokino then kokino e you're gonna kaholo kokino e ki mili and then mili mili you're gonna kao right. Elili u and it kind of overlaps there. No na ni mai. Uehe and left. Kokino e. Ki mili mili. And then we koholo. Da 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 da. And our vamp is gonna be this very simple two hand vamp. I know we've done some crazy wild vamps in the past couple of months. This one is just simple. Two hand, holo right, and two hand to the left. All right. That's our first verse of Lili Ue. Let's try it with some musica. Okay. Oh, my, sorry, my spika. My spika went to sleep. Okay, here we go. Lili Ue, first verse. Hula. motion right and left slow way step way step 
Pa'o. Uehe. Step. Sitting so gently. Pa'o. Two times. Ula. That's it. Okay. So we're really only going to do that verse. So let's try it one more time. We'll try Lili Uwe first verse one more time. Half alone. Slow Uwe. Body motion. Your squishy body. Very good. Okay, so that was our Lili Uwe, and we will continue to celebrate Lili U throughout the month. Sometimes we might do two verses per, per week, but today we're just going to do one. And I want to move on to one more song. I know we should just stick to one song, but I just can't because it's September, which means it's time for Aloha Festival. So uh, every year around this time, my students, <laughs> my students know that I bust out Aloha Wikula without fail. Sometimes we do it only one week. Sometimes we do it the whole month long. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I think we'll do a little bit each week. Um, this is Aloha Wikula, and it was actually written by a fellow named Jack Pittman, who we have a picture of on the keys. Uh, Jack Pittman was a comp there he is. Jack Pittman was a composer, and he also wrote Beyond the Reef. Same guy, yeah, same guy. So Jack Pittman wrote this song Aloha Wikula, and it was in honor of the Aloha festivals, which were or originally only a week long. Um, this is a picture from one of the very first Aloha festivals back in 1947. Um, the concept for Aloha festivals was actually thought of about a year earlier, and it was sort of a tourist trap. I mean, t uh, idea. <laughs> a, a tourist attraction, shall we say. Uh, it was a way to have people come to Hawaii to celebrate all things aloha and make sure to book their tickets year after year for the festival so the aloha festivals has been running almost continuously uh with the exception of a few um since that time so we every year we celebrate aloha festivals with this song and sometimes others but this is one that we just i can never let it go it just keeps on coming back it's like the zombie hula <laughs> Exactly. Okay, so let's do just this first verse for today. Um, there's about three verses and a chorus. We'll just focus on this one today. So it says, little hula flirts like this guy. No, just kidding. More, probably more like this guy. So you're going to bring your hands down, hula motion. It's a fast one. Little hula flirts. Then you're going to hold your skirt or your shorts or your pants in hula pants or shorts. Okay, so let's do the hula motion and... Little hula flirts in hula shirts, whatever. Okay, winking at the boys. You're going to bring your hands to your sides of your eyes, and you're going to just wink, wink. Now, I realize this is two hands. That's more of a blink, blink. So you do whatever you do. You can wink with the right hand and wink with the left hand. The hands are supposed to go both at the same time, though, okay? Winking at, I'm really bad at it. I'm just going to blink. Blinking at the boys. <laughs> In Aloha shirts, you're going to touch your shoulders and down. Now, does that motion look a little familiar from our Lili Uwe? It's kind of similar. You're just going to show your Aloha shirts. Yes, okay. Little hula flirts, hands up. A little hula flirts in hula skirts. Winking at the boys in Aloha shirts. That's it. Now, lock that left hand into your waist. Right hand is going to go from the center of your body. That's the way they do. Then left hand from the center and flip the palm over. The aloha 
you're going to clap on the word weak. Weak. Yeah, let's go from that's the way to do the aloha week. Very good. Hula, lock that left hand into your waist again. Right hand is across your shoulders, and you're going to ummy, slow ummy right. Two, and a one, two, three. Now, I know the ummy, we're always not sure which way does it go. So let's go to the overhead camera so you can see. Hello. So for the overhead camera, you can see my right hand is across the chest. Left hip is going to swing out to the side. Starts on the left side first. And then it's going to go back around. So back around. That's one. And back around. That's two. And then our quick one, two, three. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Let's stay on this camera for one time. Little hula flirts. Ready, go. Little hula flirts in hula skirts. Winking at the boys in aloha shirts. That's the way to do the aloha week. Hula and a one, two, three. Okay, back to the regular camera. We'll try one more time, just the hands. Ready, body motion. Little hula flirts in hula skirts. Winky at the boys in aloha shirts. That's the way to do the aloha week. Hula and a one, a two, three. All right, let's some, put some feet to it because we are already making any kind. I just... There's this one part, Uncle Kavika Trask, who I used to dance for in Waikiki. Um, he used to say about the boys, little hula flirts with no more shirts. Winking at the girls in aloha skirts. Yeah, he would flip it all around. That's Uncle Kimo for you. Okay. He's talking about hula dancers and drag and all kind of stuff. Okay, so ready? Little hula flirts, we're going to kaholo to the right. Ready and kaholo. Little hula flirts in hula skirts. Now, winking at the boys, we're actually going to hella. So for the hella, you're going to put your feet in a V-shape, and you're going to go out to the right and left. You want to see that on the Vavai cam? Good, because we set it up just for that. A uh, Winking at the boys. Okay, so your hand's going to do the wink, 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 wink by your eyes, and you hella. A winking at the boys. Okay. And then in aloha shirt, you're going to ka'o. Aloha shirt. Where did my feet go? Oh, my gosh. Hem your pants, lady. Okay, ready? Little hula flirts. Starting ka'holo. What? The? Ready, ka'holo. Little hula flirts in hula skirts. Wink, wink. Winking at the boys. Ka'o in aloha shirts. Now, holo. That's the way to do the aloha week hula and ami, ami, ami. That's it. Nice. You remember this one? How could he forget the zombie hula? Just keeps coming back. Okay, here comes aloha week hula, a recording I did last year around this time. Get ready to roll. Ready, Jack? Go, Jack Pittman. Ready? Little hula flirts. Little hula flirts in hula skirts. Winking at the boys in aloha shirts. That's the way they do. The aloha we cool One, two, three. Around the aisle, mile by mile. Take a deep tour. Shall we hunt a home? I think so. All right, let's try that one more time. We can add in a two-hand kaholo. Yeah. Ready? One chance. Kaholo. Little hula flirts. Little hula flirts. Can you hula flirts? Hello. Winking at the boys in aloha shirts. That's the way. So actually, Eames was asking, do you only get one chance? Luckily, later in the song, you get to do this verse again. But it goes like verse 1, verse 2, hui, verse 3. 
and then it comes back. Verse 1, verse 2, Huli 3, something like that, okay? So you do get a second chance, but not till later. So might as well hit it the first time. Can we try one more time? One last time. Aloha we hula. Zombie hula take three. Oh my gosh, I almost played the wrong song. Hold on. Okay, get ready for your vamp. It's going to be intense. Mahalo. Little hula flirt. Little hula flirt. And hula skats. Winking at the boys in aloha shirts. That's the way they do. We have the aloha we cool Around the island. Around the aisle. That's Bye next mama. week. Take a detour. All right. I know that's a lot to cover in just a very, very short time. I hope that you have enjoyed our kickoff of our celebration of Lili'u and the Aloha Festivals. We'll end today with one of Im's favorites, which is poi balls. Of course, they are not Hawaiian. They are from New Zealand. And we're told that we're supposed to just call them poi, not poi balls. But old habits die hard. So here we go. Hokey, hokey, where's my music? Hokey, hokey, toru fa. Hokey, hokey, toru fa. Look at that. Straight into the double cartwheels. Let's see if I can keep up with this guy. Oh to thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us today we're so grateful to have another week to share with you and another month of hula ahead of us so thank you for being here feel free to invite friends to come and join us and kumu will try to do my best to post things a little bit earlier um i did want to give a little plug i didn't make a slide um but i am shifting all of my classes to virtual formats for September and October because of the numbers here in Hawaii. They're a little bit high. So to keep all of our um, Oahu dancers safe, we have shifted to um, online <laughs> only. So actually, some of you have been asking about Tuesday Hula. The Tuesday Hula class that I have for my Wahine at 6 p.m., um, Hawaii time will be shifting to virtual. So if you're interested in signing up for that, even if you're away, um, you can sign up. I know it's a little bit later for you, 6 p.m. Hawaii time, um, but that is the time that we're going to be doing, and it is um, you can register for that. It's $50 a month um, for the Zoom Hula on, on Zoom. That's where Zoom Hula happens, on Zoom. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to be doing another Lili U. Um, Mele, we're working on Queen's Jubilee this month, um, and we'll see if we finish it. Well, Den Kikawo has Queen's Jubilee on Zoom, so um, I might post about it on Facebook, but if you're interested and you're on this uh, live or you're watching the replay, just let me know. Send me a direct message, and I can see if it might work for you to zoom in from wherever you are in the world. So that is all I have for you folks today. Have a wonderful week. Until next time, ahui ho.